Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. What time did you finally get back home last night? Or this morning? Gee, I don't know. It's pretty late, though. You must be tired. Well, I feel okay now. I'll probably fall apart about noontime. Did Zeke's transmission really fall out? Well, that's what he said. I just helped him push the car to the side of the road and drove him home. Well, I guess I better get going. Are you going down to the office today? Yeah, I have to check over some contracts for Mr. Kelly. What's your hurry? You've got all weekend. Oh, I might as well get it off my mind. I've got a couple more things to do, too, and I've got a date tonight. Well, I'll see you later. Okay. Gee, I better get going, too. I promised Zeke I'd help him push the car down to the garage. Well, you haven't finished your breakfast. Well, I'm not very hungry, Mom. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. You gonna play golf today? Oh, yeah, with uh, Joe and Doc and Darb. No, I hope Zeke appreciates what a good friend he's got in Rick. Oh, I'm sure he does. Zeke's a nice boy. Oh, I, I know that. It, it makes you stop and think. Uh, we have a lot of friends, but which ones would really put themselves out to help us? Oh, well, I'm sure they all would. Well, I don't mean if we had car trouble, but suppose we were in serious trouble. Who could we count on? Well, we could certainly count on the Randolph. Oh, well, sure. well, Clara and Joe are our best friends. And there's Doc and Darb. You know, it comes to think of it, I'm a pretty lucky guy. I have you and the boys and a lot of wonderful friends. Well, thank you, dear. I think I'll invite the fellows over to play poker tonight, if you don't mind. Oh, fine with me. Oh, uh, and uh, would you bake a cake or, or a pie or something? You know how those guys like to eat. Oh, okay. Oh, speaking of good friends, uh, people who really pitch in when you need them? Oh! <laughs> Let's get going. Boy, I never saw anybody in such a hurry to get beaten before. <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> oh, uh, before I forget it, how would you guys like to stop over the house and play a little poker tonight? Oh, okay with me. Sounds great. We'll get half of his money at golf and pick up the rest tonight. <laughs> we'll see about that. Ozzy. Oh, hi, fellas. Hi, hello, Harry. Say, we've got a problem. There's a pipe leaking in the basement. Oh. Well, I'll take a look at it. Come on, I may need your help. Shall I call a plumber? Uh, let me take a look at it first. Come on, you guys. Oh, yeah, this is pretty bad. You better call a plumber. Okay. What do you guys think? Well, offhand, I'd say you've got a leaking pipe. You know, I think you're right. What do you say, Doc? Well, oh, could be appendicitis. <laughs> uh, uh, pardon me, Doc. Better shut the water off. Would you shut the water off, Joe? It's right outside the front door. Which side? Right outside the front door to the right in the bushes. Come on, hurry up, would you please? A mess. Hey, when's our starting time? Our, our what? Our starting time at the golf course. Oh, uh, 10 o'clock. Hey, Oz, will you shut the water off, please, Joe? Did you say the left side of the back door? I said the right side of the front door in the bushes there. Come on, hurry up, will you? <laughs> But his wife said he's out playing golf. She expects him back in about two hours. Oh, great. Well, you have to do without the water for a couple of hours. Joe's shutting it off. That's going to be pretty inconvenient. Well, uh, there's nothing else we can do. I wonder if I can fix this. Looks like this old pipe is rusted at the joint here. Well, what about our golf? Well, I I've got plenty of pipe out in the garage. If you guys will help me, it'll only take us a few minutes. Look, uh, we have a starting time in just 15 minutes. We'll barely make it as it is. Actually, you probably get it done a lot quicker with us out of the way. Yeah, uh, we'll see you later. No, wait a minute. I want to play golf, too. You can catch up with us on the back nine. Well, thanks a lot. That's all right. Wait a minute. Bye, Harry. Bye, Joe. What was I saying before about friends? <laughs> Way too short. Here, try this one. It's about a foot too long. Why don't you saw it off? Well, I don't have a pipe threader. I've got a lot more pipe in the garage, though. Uh, 
Well, it's a, it's a little unusual, but it'll get the water from here to there, at least. I think it's cute. Well, go on, you better hurry up. You're going to catch up to him on the second night. Oh, I think I'll forget about the golf today, Harry. They're probably finished by now. Oh, Tom, what happened to the water? Oh, I, I, uh, it's turned off. I had to fix a leaky pipe. Oh, I was wondering. I tried to take a shower and nothing happened. Oh, you, you're back kind of early, aren't you? No, I finished all my work. Is it okay if I turn the water back on? Oh, I'll, I'll turn it on for you. Well, that's okay. I'll do it. Just tell me where. No, no, I'll do it. Uh, I thought you were going to play golf. Uh, no, it's a little too late. Well, you can still get nine holes in if you hurry. Well, I, 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 I don't feel much like playing anymore. Well, why not? It's a beautiful day. I, I, to be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed in my so-called friends. Why, just because they wouldn't stay and help you fix the water pipe? Well, that's right. Well, you said yourself it was a one-man job. No, no, I didn't say that. Darb did, or, or, or Joe, or, or, or somebody. Well, I'd hate to have to count on those guys in a real emergency. Some friends. Well, they probably thought they'd just be in the way and you'd have it fixed in five or ten minutes. Oh, Harriet. Oh, hi, Rick. Hi. Oh, hi, Mom. Huh? Uh, did you get Zeke's car out of the garage okay? Yeah, finally. It's in pretty bad shape. It's going to cost him about $100. $100? Where's he going to get that? Well, I'm going to lend it to him from the money I saved up. Well, that's a lot of money. Well, I know, but he's good for it. Gee. Well, it certainly is nice of you. Well, it certainly is. Oh, well, thanks. Well, he'd do the same for me. After all, he's one of my best friends. I wonder if one of my so-called best friends would lend me a hundred dollars just like that. Well, certainly they would if they thought you really needed it. Well, I hope so. Hey, Pop, I still can't get any water. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Dave. I'll turn it right on. Hey, Rod. Oh, hi. How's the golf? Oh, great. What happened to you? I thought you were going to join us. Uh, it turned out to be a pretty big job. Boy, it sure was hot out there. You don't happen to have a couple of cold drinks in the refrigerator, do you? Hey, great idea. Come on, let's go. <laughs> uh, uh, Joe. Uh, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? No, go ahead, Alice. Would you lend me a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars? Yeah. Are you kidding? No, I, I, I mean it. Would you lend me $100? Well, sure. You know me, Oz. Easy come, easy go. Oh. But why stop at 100 Make it 1000 10000 <laughs> Oh, is that for me? You go get your own. This is for our host. <laughs> Say, uh, a Darb, uh, would you lend me $100? Well, gee, Oz, what for? Well, uh, what difference does that make? Would you lend me $100? Sure, but... Uh, well, Sally just took this trip to her mother's and bought a lot of new clothes and stuff, and uh, I've been wanting to get the house painted, and... Uh, well, how soon would you need it? Well... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cut it out, Oz. For a minute there, I thought you were serious. Hey, you guys, hurry up. Let's go. <laughs> hey, this really hits the spot, Oz. And the fried chicken is great. You're a real gentleman. Hey, no, thanks, Oz. See you tonight. Well, well, but, uh, uh, Doc, Doc, I'll bring the bottle back. No, no, no. <laughs> Who cares about that? Uh, you consider us good friends, don't you? I mean, you, you think of yourself as being a good friend of mine? Well, sure I do, as long as you don't want to borrow any money. Fellas! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 fellas! Uh, uh, fellas. Uh, look, uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but uh, I think we'd better call off the poker game for tonight. Well, how come? Well, you can't do that, Oz. We're counting on it. Well, I, I'm sorry, but I, I just don't feel like playing tonight. We can make it some other time. Well, okay, Oz. See you again. Go on. Go on. Go on. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> Would you like to go to the movies tonight? I thought you invited the guys over to play poker. Well, I did, but I called it off. I just don't feel like playing poker with those guys. I think you're being pretty silly about the whole thing. Well, maybe so, but it's a little discouraging for a man to find out he doesn't have any real friends. Well, of course you have real friends. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Kelly. Just a minute, and I'll get him. Dave? Yes? Mr. Kelly wants to talk to you. Thanks, Mom. Oh, yes, sir. 
Oh, uh, certainly. Oh, no, sir, I can do it. Yes, sir, just as fast as I can. Anything important, Dave? Well, uh, sort of. I'm supposed to go down to the office and pick up a habeas corpus writ and take it down to the jail. Why? What's wrong? Oh, that's just routine, Mr. Kelly, trying to get a client out of jail. I thought you were going to take Susie to the play tonight. Oh, I am. I'm supposed to pick her up at 8 o'clock. I'll just about make it. Good night, Mom. Good, Good night, night dear. Good night, Dave. Hi, Rick. Hi. Where's he going in such a big hurry? Oh, Mr. Kelly wanted him to pick up something down at the office for him. On Saturday night? Well, well the thing you have to do when you're a lawyer. Because he isn't exactly a lawyer just yet. No, he sure isn't. If he was, he'd be able to talk Mr. Kelly out of it. <laughs> oh, never mind your father. He's being a grouch tonight. <laughs> hey, come back here. That's my good sweater. <laughs> the theater and the feature doesn't go on again for about an hour. Are you sure you wouldn't rather play poker? It's still early. You know, you could call up the fellows and tell them you changed your mind and invite them over again. Look, I, I, I'm sorry, Harry, but I, I'm just not in the mood. Here these guys are supposed to be my best friends and not one of them would lend me a hundred dollars. Well, I'll bet if you needed the money and told them why you needed it, they'd lend it to you in a minute. <laughs> Whose side are you on, anyway? I'm on your side, of course, but it's just possible you might be making a mistake. Here. What's that for? Call them up and invite them over again. Uh, give me one good reason why I should. I'll give you two. First, you know you want to play poker tonight, and second, I think the guys deserve another chance. Just possible they thought you were kidding. Well, I sure would like to think that. Who are you calling? Jill. Hello, Clara. This is Harriet. I'm fine, thank you, dear. Say, so, is Joe there? Ozzy wants to talk to him. I, I really don't, you know. Oh, well, we can call him over there. Okay, bye-bye. They went over to Darb's to play. Well, how do you like it? And they didn't even invite me. Well, I thought you didn't want to play. Some friends. Come well, on, let's go to the movies. There, I'll bet that's Darb. Hello? Oh, hi, Dave. Uh, where are you? Uh, I'm down at the City Hall. Uh, would you do me a big favor? Well, sure. Uh, what do you want? Well, I rushed off in such a hurry, I forgot my wallet. And the tickets to the play and my driver's license and everything are in it. Oh, gee, uh, that's a shame. Uh, where is it? It's right on top of my desk. I'm awful sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. Your mother and I were going to go down to the movies anyway. Uh, I can drop it by for you. Oh, uh, thanks a lot, Pop. Uh, I'll be in the county jail building. Okay. Did you forget something? Yeah, his tickets and his driver's license. They're on his desk upstairs. Who was that, David? Uh, yeah. Where is he? Uh, at the county jail. Oh, finally made it, huh? Okay, Doc, now you play. You did that on purpose. Well, it's better than standing around watching you fumble through a hand. Fumble? Yeah. Now, who taught you to play, Clara? Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Doc, steal the card. What am I supposed to do? The same thing I've been doing while you were playing. Oh, not there, there. <laughs> Oh, I wish Oz hadn't called off the poker game. This is no fun. What do you think was the matter with him today? He sure was acting funny. Yeah, what was that business about borrowing money? Oh, I'm sure he was just kidding. If he needed any money, he'd borrow it from Harriet. <laughs> he seemed pretty upset. Well, why don't we call him up and see if we can get him to come over? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, it's just no fun without old Oz. Not only that, we can't play poker with only three of us. <laughs> don't let him know we miss him. We'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, just tell him we needed somebody to take a poker hand, and his name came up. Hello? Uh, uh, hello, Oz. Oh, no, this is Rick. Oh, hi, Rick. This is Mr. Randolph. Is your dad there? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Randolph. He isn't here. You know where he is? Oh, yes, sir. He went down to the county jail. Oh. Well, thanks, Rick. Okay. Isn't he home? No, Ricky said he's down at the county jail. The county jail? Well, what's he doing there? I don't know. Call back and find out. Hello? Uh, Rick, uh, 
did you say the county jail? Oh, yes, sir. He and Mom took some things down to David. To David? Yeah, he phoned a little while ago. He had forgotten some tickets and his driver's license. Oh. Well, thanks, Rick. Okay. That's funny. What's the matter? I wonder if that's what's been bothering Oz. Was something wrong? Well, yeah. Apparently, David's in some kind of trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, evidently, he got some tickets he forgot all about. And he was picked up without his driver's license, and he's in jail. David? Yeah. Well, that doesn't sound like David. That's impossible. Hey, wait a second. That's why Odd didn't say why he wanted to borrow the money. It's probably for David's bail. Oh, don't be silly. Well, well come on, Darb. We're holding up the game. No, wait a second, Doc. Maybe it is possible. Yeah, I, I just thought of something. Last night, a little after midnight, the phone started ringing over at Oz's. All of a sudden, all the lights went on, and Ricky went rushing out of the house. You're pretty nosy. <laughs> no, I'm not. They were making such a racket, it woke me up. You think that's why Oz didn't want to play golf? Yeah, sounds pretty logical. Hey, what kind of guys are we? Here we are playing cards when our best friend needs us. What can we do? I know Judge Wilson. He's a patient of mine. My wife's cousin's boyfriend's in the bail bond business. Well, the district attorney's a member of our lodge. Come on, boys. What are we waiting for? Here's your wallet, uh, and the tickets are right in there. Oh, thanks a lot. I'll just have time to pick up Susie. Okay. Good night, Mom. Good, good night, night, dear. Good night. Have a good time. Well, still want to go to the movies? Well, I don't care. It's up to you. It's up to you. Oh, here he is, fellas. Oz. Don't worry about a thing, Oz. Well, what are you guys doing out here? Uh, this is Judge Wilson. Sergeant, do you have a prisoner here named David Nelson? Well, uh, 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 I'm going to bond for him right here. How well, much uh, uh, fellas, uh, Don't worry about a thing, Oz. And if we need any more help, we'll get the DA down here. He's a member of our lodge. David Nelson? The uh, uh, fellas... We'll have him out in no time. What? Well, he's not in. You mean to say he's already been sprung? <laughs> Isn't that a fair trial, Oz? The judge will hear the case. What, uh, what are you guys trying to do? We're trying to get David out of jail. Well, he's He's not in jail. Oz, we know all about it. Ricky told us. David forgot all about those traffic tickets and they picked him up. He, he shouldn't have ignored those tickets, Mr. Nelson. Uh, this is Judge Wilson. How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? He didn't ignore any traffic tickets. He left his theater tickets at home. Theater tickets? Look, fellas, can I try and explain this? Well, I think somebody should. Well, David came down here with some legal papers for Mr. Kelly, and he was in such a hurry, he forgot his theater tickets and his driver's license. Do you mean the boy was driving without a license? Well, he's a good driver, Judge, even if they did take his license away. <laughs> I took his license away. His license was in his wallet. He forgot his wallet, so I just brought it down here to him. Oh. Well, you Not said... Not me. He said. <laughs> I must have misunderstood, Ricky. Did you drag me away from a dinner party for nothing? Oh, well, that makes us even. The last time you called me, it was 3 o'clock in the morning, and you dragged me out of bed. And all you had was a stomachache. <laughs> I guess you won't be needing me anymore. I'm sorry, George, but I'll tell my wife's cousin how helpful you were. Thank you, and if I can be of service to you gentlemen at any time. Oh, oh thank you very much. Well, uh, 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 fellas, uh, may I say something here, please? Uh, I realize this is all a big mix-up. But I just want you to know how, how sincerely I appreciate the thought behind this. It, it's a wonderful feeling to know that when you're in real trouble, you have friends who come rushing to your assistance. You are my sincere friends. And believe me, fellas, I deeply appreciate it. Oh, come on, Oz. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> he didn't do it for you. He did it for David. Oh, don't forget Harriet. You look lovely tonight, Harriet. Thank you. Well, let's go, fellas. Where are we going? Over to Oz's house and play poker. Sure, of everybody's invited. No, thanks, fellas. I'll call you. How about an ace high straight? Is that good enough for you? That's the fourth pot he's taken from me. I was doing better at gin rummy. <laughs> me too. Whose idea was it to play poker anyway? <laughs> well, uh, don't get too upset about it, fellas. Just think of all the money you'd have lost if I'd played golf with you this morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's one refreshing thing about Oz. He's so modest. <laughs> <laughs> sandwiches, fellas. Oh, oh there You know, it may be my imagination, but I think I hear water dripping. Seems to me like it's coming from the cellar. Uh, that's impossible. I fixed the pipe this morning. Well, whose deal is it? My deal.
Tomorrow, give us a ring. <laughs> come on, hey, come on, you guys. Why, you guys? Honey, I called the plumber, but he's not home. Fine bunch of friends I got. They deserted me. I'll go out front and shut the water off. Thank <laughs> you. 